It's the real side of H-Town, 97.9 The Box, the Mad Hat to Morning Show. So we got to talk about this meme that's going viral of a guy that's in this documentary. The only way to do this is to play the audio <laughs> clip of this part of the documentary. Let me say this right here. It is shocking. It is mind-blowing. And if you wanted to watch the entire documentary, I usually wouldn't say this. <laughs> now is the time for you to turn because this is going to blow your mind. And I have to say, it is the most incredible part <laughs> of the entire documentary. It was so incredible that Cooper and Young Jazz came back and said, hey, guys, you just got to see this. <laughs> and we never got a chance to see it on last week. And when I saw it, I hit them and like, what? So, ladies and gentlemen, here is the clip that blows your mind when Billy asked Andy to do something for him so this festival could be triumphant. Let me tell you something. We had four containers filled, four 18-wheeler trucks filled with Evian water. But I had left the week before for two days to go to meetings in Bermuda for the America's Cup. And when I came back, I'd missed the big meeting with Customs. And of course, Customs had said to Billy and the gang, you need to pay us $175,000 in cash today for us to release the water. I went down. Well, Billy called me. I'm going to speak completely, um, you know, this won't go that far, I'm sure. But Billy called and said, Andy, we need you to take one big thing for the team. And I said, oh my gosh, I've been taking something for the team every day. He said, well, you're our wonderful gay leader and we need you to go down. Will you suck to fix this water problem? And I said, Billy, what? He said, Andy, if you will go down and suck Cunningham, who's the head of customs, and get him to clear all of the containers with water, you will save this festival. And I literally drove home, took a shower. I, 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 I drank some mouthwash. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm really, and I got into my car to drive across the island to take one for the team. And I got to his office fully prepared to suck his <laughs> But he couldn't have been nicer. And he's like, Andy, listen, I will release all the water. I will let you serve it but I want to, be, want to be one of the first people to be paid this import fee for what you're doing. And I said, okay, great. And I got back and I had all the water that we needed. <laughs> Can you imagine in my 30 years of a career that this is what I was going to do? I was going to do that, honestly, to save the festival. And there it is, ladies Woo! and gentlemen. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what would you do for a friend? Which brings me to the question this morning, Jay Mac, oh, wow. Jimbo, whoa, Young whoa, whoa, Jazz, whoa. Cooper, and anybody else in the studio, what would you do for a friend? Wow. In fact, to be more direct, Jimbo. Not that. <laughs> Jim, you gonna, come on now. You gonna at least let me ask the question? No, no. <laughs> no, you know mine's no, so move on to Jazz. <laughs> Jim. We got Jim, Jay Mac over Jim. there. Jay Mac. Yeah. What? Y'all gonna let me ask the question? Ain't nobody gonna let me ask the we question. We heard his clip. We know the question's coming. We're trying to <laughs> yeah, nip, nip it in the bud. Uh, <laughs> Hold on, Young Jazz. Now, Young Jazz, would you be willing to take an L like this for your team? I think all of us in this room would do anything for a friend. If it came down to it, and I asked J Mac, Jim, Koopa, you had a, to do this for a friend. We got millions on the line. This is gonna take you in five, ten minutes. Jazz. Wow. We got a show to run here. Jazz. We got a show to let run here. Let me tell you something. Jazz. Jay Mac is doomed. Jazz. If that's what I got to do, let me tell you, me and Jay Mac can be in a European place. <laughs> and we're getting ready to be, they getting ready to send us to jail for life in one of the most <laughs> crucial European jails you can think of. You got to do it. Where, where, where bad things will probably happen there. Yep. And they say, had him. What you need to do to make <laughs> sure that Jay Mac don't go to jail is break down and do this one thing. Let me tell you something. Jay Mack is going to spend some time <laughs> in the penitentiary. You would do this for a friend. If I had a real friend in a real situation, I might do whatever I need to do. Really? Ever. In a real, if it was a real either situation way. like that. Either Come way. on, if it was a life or death situation. Yeah, but this is that, that wasn't life or death. That was just for the success of a festival. I mean, that was well, not life or death. Life or death. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> they dead too. <laughs> All right. Crazy things that you've done for a friend or if you've known of a situation like that. Or would you even go this far for a friend? 713-621-0979.